Welcome! Today we're going to take a look at how you can edit your first YouTube video using Flixier. In order to start making your video, you first need to bring all of the clips, images and audio that you're going to use over to your Flixier personal library. If the files are already on your computer, you can just drag and drop them into the library area. If you want to bring media over from the cloud, you can click on the import button to add files from a variety of different services including Google Photos, Loom and even Twitch or YouTube. If you haven't recorded anything for your video yet, don't worry. Flixier can help you out with that too. Clicking the record button lets you easily record your screen, webcam and microphone. Now that you have all of the media that you want to use in your video, it's time to move over to the next step putting all of your clips, images and audio together. To do that, we'll be dragging them over to the timeline. The timeline is where all of the media that you use in your video lives. It's arranged chronologically from left to right and separated into tracks with the media on the top tracks appearing on top of the media on the lower tracks in the final video. You can move things freely around the timeline by dragging them around with your mouse button. You can zoom in and out on the timeline by holding down Ctrl and using the scroll wheel. You'll notice that every clip or image that you add to the timeline also shows up on the video canvas, allowing you to preview what the final video will look like. You can use the controls under the canvas to play the video back, or you can drag the playhead around the timeline to preview different points in your video. You can easily trim the start or end of a clip by dragging on its edges in the timeline. If you want to cut out something in the middle of your clip, all you have to do is select the clip, move the playhead to the point where you want to make your cut and then either click on the cut button or press S on your keyboard. Then select the portion that you want to cut out and press the delete key to get rid of it. You can also right click and select ripple delete if you want Flixir to automatically join the remaining bits of footage together afterwards. Now that you have the rough cut of your video, it's time to add some of the finer details like transitions, titles or motion graphics. Adding transitions to your clips in Flixir is super easy and can be done in a number of different ways. If your videos are on the same track, just drag them over each other so they overlap a little and then select your transition from the drop down list. If the clips are on different tracks, go over to the transition menu on the left and drag your transition over the video. You can then drag on its edge in the timeline to modify its duration. Adding text and titles to your videos is just as easy. Go to the text tab on the left side menu. If you want to use one of our animated titles, you can just drag it over to the video. Clicking on the edit animation button on the right side of the screen will open up a new menu allowing you to change its colors and edit the text itself. If you want to add some static text instead, you can do that by clicking the Add Simple Text button. You can move the text object around with the mouse button. Double clicking on the text object will allow you to change the text content. If you want to customize it further, go to the Text Properties tab of the Object Inspector menu to choose from over 1000 fonts and tweak things such as text color, outline color, font weight or alignment. On top of text and transitions, Flixir also features plenty of ready-made motion graphics that allow you to add stylish yet subtle calls to action in the middle of your videos in order to remind people to like the video and subscribe to your channel. You can easily add these to your clips by dragging and dropping them over from the motion menu on the left side of the screen. Now that your video is done, it's time to take a look at the audio side of things as well. If you talk a lot in your videos, it's crucial that people can understand you easily if you want them to stay engaged while listening. 
To make your vocals sound clearer, you can select your voice track on the timeline and choose the vocals preset from the equalizer drop down list. If you want to, you can also add some background music to your video. If you don't have your own music, feel free to go to the audio tab on the left and choose from our library of available tracks. To add the music, just drag it down to the timeline like you would any other asset. Make sure to turn the volume low enough so that it doesn't overpower your voice and make you difficult to understand. If you want to help your vocals come through a bit clearer over the music track, you can also select the song and go to the Customize option next to the Equalizer presets. Then drag every dial between 125 and 4000 Hz down to about minus 3 decibels. While not ideal for music listening, this should really help your vocals come through a lot louder in the final video. Now that your video is done, it's time to publish it. To do that, click on the blue export button in the top right corner of the screen. In the export menu, you can change your video's title as well as set a custom thumbnail. Clicking on the YouTube button on the right will allow you to link your YouTube and Flixer accounts together and publish your videos straight to YouTube once they're done rendering. Once you're done filling out every field, click on export and your video will be ready in 3 minutes or less. You can find your rendered videos by going to the Exports tab of the Flixier dashboard. Click on the three dots next to the title and select Download to save the video to your computer. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a like. If you want to see more videos like this and stay up to date on the latest Flixier features, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Twitter.